All right, how's everybody doing, man? Uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Negro News. Um, so, as everybody knows, uh, Colorado has suffered their first defeat um, to the hands of Oregon. I think it was 42-6. to six. It, was, it was a beatdown. Yeah, it was a beatdown. But Coach told everyone that he's about seven or eight pieces away from really being a contender. And he wasn't lying. He was truthful. Offensive line was horrible. Oh, my gosh. Shador got sacked eight times today, man. As um, soon as he got the ball, it was like he was looking up in the air. Um, I don't think Oregon was that much better than those guys. But not having time to uh, survey the field, go through his progressions, uh, I'm speaking for, uh, for Shador, um, made for them having a long day in Eugene. Um Learning curve. Back to the drawing board. I will say this, though. Um, it was good for Oregon winning today, but I might not bode well for USC because uh, Colorado's going to be chomping at the bit, man. Uh, I know they're going to practice hard this week, and those coaches are not going light on them because no one likes being embarrassed. And I don't think they got beat due to a lack of preparation. I think just, just they just got manhandled up front on the O line and the D line. Um, with that being said, I know Coach Prime he can't recruit fast enough. Um, I don't want to be wrong, but it seems like he put more emphasis in skill positions when he was recruiting uh, than he did linemen, and I, I get it. Man, big bodies are hard to find. Um, they're just, they're just not floating around. Um, transfer portal, I mean, they're still not – quality big men, they, they don't last long, all right? You can find skill guys anywhere, you know. You can find receivers, running backs, you know. Um, DBs, you can find – well, DBs are kind of harder than receivers, but they're still plentiful. A um, lot of haters talking trash, you know, about Prime. And he said something today in his post-conference interview. He said – uh. They're playing to beat him. They're not playing to beat Colorado, excuse me. And it's true. Everybody is so hyped to beat Colorado. Like, Colorado's head coach is a jerk. Uh, he, play, he plays for wins, not for clicks. I mean, they were publicizing and promoting their, their cliques, their brand new cliques that change colors due to body temperature. So everybody's utilizing social media. So it's a major contradiction. Um, I'm still on the bandwagon, man. I'm not, I ain't got nothing negative to say. You know what I'm saying? Um, like Mike Tyson said it. He said, he said best. Everybody got a plan until they get hit. Well, they got hit today. Get back up, though. Get back up. Yeah. I respect the man that gets up as opposed to just laying there. Unless you're just unconscious and that wasn't the case. So, yeah, um, tune in. I, like I said, I appreciate you guys tuning in to Negro News again, man. And I just wanted, you know, to to, to just, just stay consistent with, with being a supporter of Colorado. Um, this channel is not solely dedicated to Colorado, no. So I know a lot of my content has been geared. But, you know, it, hey, man, they're the hot topic. And, and, and rightfully so. They were one and eleven last year. They're three and one. All right, people, just don't jump jump off the ship just yet. Okay, um, I believe it's going to be a way more competitive game uh, this weekend in in, in uh, Colorado when USC comes to town than it was today in Eugene. Um, losing Travis Hunter it was a blow. It was a blow, but they could have had three Travis Hunters today. It wouldn't have mattered the way they played. Okay. Travis Hunter is not a lineman. That old line is trash. Or in the words of Coach Prime, which how he would say, hot garbage. Yes, they're recyclables, perishable goods. They're trash. That old line, they just, man, I wouldn't feed those guys for about two days. That would be their punishment. I wouldn't even, no, no. Well, I'd feed them, but you wouldn't be able to come in to that that, that gourmet cafe they got at Colorado. I, they got to find, they got to go somewhere else. 
Yeah, eat. They, I, I would make them feed themselves for the next couple of days just <laughs> because they don't even deserve to eat because they play like trash. They, they play horrible. It was embarrassing, man. And to have a quarterback that good, you just want to keep them upright. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for tuning in to Negro News. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Um, and holla at me, Cash App. Link down low. Uh, any comments you want to leave, holla at me, man. You know what I'm saying? Go Buffs. All right? I appreciate everybody.